numbers were his first vocation. He counted from an early age. Numbers and more numbers were pronounced by his mouth. No one ever discovered the origin of his forms. He counted everything in his sight. The birds in the poplar trees, the cirrus clouds in the sky, the balconies over the plazas, the houses on the streets, the streets themselves. He enumerated the peals of the church bells, the steps of a passerby from one place to another, the words in the Sunday sermon, the letters from one book or another. Once he wanted to count the lights of the starry sky, but sleep overcame him before he could succeed, and he plunged down a dark precipice where the confounded soul discovers new preferences. From then on, he experienced the singular pleasure only when counting exceptional things, like the calls of the crows, the twitters of an owl for seeing death, the moments before the orgasms of the maids as they copulated in the granary with the servants, the pitiful howls of the dogs left outside, or the tolls of the bells on funeral days. His tutor, José de Zaragoza, was unsettled. Find him counting the ants that devoured the cadaver of the 